Victor Wenbanyama has been making waves since 2020. France has indeed got a secret weapon on their team by getting the most highly anticipated talent in the 2023 draft. It seems like the USA will have to come up with a game plan or else their team will go through a difficult time competing against an upcoming prodigy. Let's look at whether Wenbanyama's rise spelled the end of Team USA's dynasty. To start with, the time Victor Wenbanyama suffered defeat. There's one date that Victor Wenbanyama really just can't forget about. In an interview, he talked about how he endlessly mulls over his loss on July 11, 2021. That day reminds him of a time when he was super close to touching his dream, but then everything came crumbling down. Team USA beat France 83-81 in the U19 World Cup Final in Riga, Latvia on that day. Although Wenbanyama still impressed with 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 blocks. This is honestly something you'd expect from the best basketball prospect in the world. Later, Wenbanyama fouled out, though, with less than three minutes left to play. Even though the play was clearly wrong because he'd hit Jaden Ivey, this still made him very angry. He walked around the arena and bit the collar of his uniform both out of anger and to keep from saying something that would make things worse. Now, in the past, he has talked about how when things don't go his way, he loses all control and has to constantly work hard to keep calm. Coming up, he wants to follow in his role model's footsteps. The thing is that he doesn't want to be the man who makes careless mistakes, but the kind that makes history. Considering that, it's not surprising to find that Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan are the two guys he has studied the most. He's also talked about about how deeply sad he was when Bryant passed on January 26, 2020. He says he knows all of Bryant's stats and achievements, but what he liked the most about him was his attitude and the way he played the game. When he's having trouble or doubts about something, he just thinks about what Kobe might have done, and that kind of mindset always makes him believe he should be doing more. So it's understandable why this foul made him feel like he had failed. After he fouled out for France, the U.S. got two offensive rebounds in the last 10 seconds, and this gave the U.S. a chance to win or tie the game. Now, this obviously bothers him because if he had played well, he probably would have won those boards. You can see how frustrated he was because when the buzzer went off and the Americans cheered, he threw away the towel he was chewing on. According to him, this incident has left a deep hole inside of him that needs to be filled. What's more, how Wenbenyama has progressed since then. All this is crucial right now since the 18-year-old recently made his senior French national team debut. We can see how he's motivated by his past mistakes and is channeling that into playing super well. Right now, he's being compared to when soccer stars Kylian Mbappe and Zindine Zidane made their debuts while competing for Les Blues. The development might pave the way for a prospective crash with the Americans at the 2024 Paris Olympics as well as the World Cup in Manila, Philippines next summer. Apart from this, Victor dominated Lithuania in his first game on Friday scoring 20 points and grabbing 9 rebounds in just 24 minutes. In a 92-56 victory over Bosnia on Monday, he scored 19 points in 25 minutes to help France secure their spot in the 2023 World Cup. At this point, France can really look forward to making a mark in history with Victor's help. Following up, the French player is slowly becoming more and more important. The NBA doesn't even think about stopping play in the G League for these mid-season qualifiers because they don't usually attract the best players. Team USA is most probably going to make it to the World Cup after beating Colombia 88-81 in Washington, D.C. They did this by using a mix of former NBA players and players from the G League. On the other hand, France puts a lot of value on it. The French League not only stops them from playing, but the head coach of Wimbanyama's professional team, Vincent Collet, is also the head coach of the national team. Victor promised to play there last summer in exchange for a job with the team before he entered the 2023 NBA draft, and Collet agreed to work for them because of that. So it's pretty clear Collet joining the team as the head coach wasn't a coincidence. This means Wembanyama has already started becoming an important part of the basketball politics. Not to mention, France will now have a really good advantage. Their senior national teams played for the gold medal in Tokyo in 2021, just three weeks after the French U19 team lost the cup final to Team USA. This was
was a pretty close game in which the Americans came out on top. The French beat Team USA at the World Cup in China in 2019, which ended the team's 58-game winning streak that had started in 2006. Then, once again, France beat the U.S. in group play at the Tokyo Olympics. This was big because it was the U.S.'s first loss at the Olympics since 2004 and ended a streak of 25 straight wins. The French will have an advantage in 2024 because they will be playing at home. They'll definitely try to stop the U.S. from winning a sixth straight gold medal at the Olympics. What's apparent is that they also plan to use Wembanyama, who has said he wants to play for the national team as often as possible in the summer. This gives France a big advantage over every other team in the world and when combined with French superstar Rudy Gobert, a potentially deadly defensive duo in the middle. Up next, Team USA might be in hot water. Team USA is in trouble around the world because of its size. Gobert, Nikola Jovic, Deandra Ayton, Yusuf Nurkic, and Kristaps Porzingis are some of the best centers in the world that are not American. On top of this, most of the NBA starters fall into this group. American citizens are lucky that Bam Adebayo didn't mind too much about being the last person on the 2019 World Cup team. Before he decided to play for Team USA in Tokyo, he seriously considered playing for Nigeria. Carl Anthony Towns was the right mix of skills to play on a global stage, but he can't play for the United States because when he was younger, he played for the Dominican Republic. And because of this, Joel Embiid's decision to become a citizen earlier this year was very important. Also, his recruitment to the national team is an underrated bit of a drama leading up to the summer of 2024. Since Embiid is also a French citizen, he can choose to go to Paris with Gobert and Wembenyama if he is healthy and wants to. Let's look at how Victor has been cooking up something new. Even though Wembenyama is 7 feet 4 inches tall, he could play wing at the next level, at least in part because of how well he handles the ball. Let's just think about that for a while. One more thing to say about Wembenyama is his new move. The best thing about Monday's game against Bosnia was this amazing one-footed fade three-pointer that Dirk Nowitzki and Kevin Durant worked together to make. Victor has used this move twice in recent games, and then again a week ago in the French League, he made a shot similar to this one. We should probably get ready to see it more often because he told Le Equipe why it exists. He said that a basketball player has to be able to guess what their opponents will do and then be ready to stop them just like a chess player. They are always ready to try something new. For months, he's been practicing for this move and now it's time for him to shine. The last few days are a good reminder that the Wembenyama tidal wave could have massive effects in the future. Finally, he's got something that can't be taught. Even though he isn't very experienced, this center seems to know how to play both on offense and defense. Jason Felipe has also admired the way he plays. He doesn't consider him to be the next Luka Doncic or say that he'll be the next best player of all time, but it's evident that he's unique. He's admitted that this is bigger than just Victor's size. His size, speed, skill, and natural instincts make him the complete package, and that is something you can't really teach. Wembenyama and Keith Hornsby, an American security guard who also run into each other many times in France, when they first played together in an exhibition game last year, he remembers being amazed by how good this teenager was at defense. Hornsby says this player has a good touch around the basket and a good feel for how to shoot. He can block shots on defense just because he's tall and long and his timing has all gotten better. And with that, we're done with this video, so what do you think about the idea that Victor Wembenyama could become one of the best players of all time? Tell us in the comments section below, give this video a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.